Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about setting up your first Java project in Eclipse. So I'm using this Eclipse uh, IDE, so it's just like a text editor that we can use to write Java programs. And I'm gonna show you guys how we can create our first Java file in here, and we can get everything set up and make sure everything's working. So let's go ahead and do that. I just opened up Eclipse and we have this like welcome screen. I'm actually just gonna get rid of this. And this is kind of like the main Eclipse workspace. So this is you know, where we're gonna be working. And here's the thing about Eclipse, there's a lot of features in here that you're just not gonna to need to use as a beginner. So this program is designed for you know, professional developers who are using you know, extremely complex and you know, complicated Java projects. For our purposes though, we're gonna be using it you know, basically just to create a couple files. So don't get too intimidated by all these different buttons and options. I'll show you exactly what you need to worry about and then you can just kind of go off and you know, start focusing on learning. So the first thing we wanna do is create something called a Java project. And a Java project is basically just a place where we can store all of our Java files. So I'm gonna go up here to file and I'm just gonna click new Java project. And we get this little prompt up here, so we can just give this a project name. I'm just gonna call this Draft or Draft Academy. And if you want, you can specify where this should be saved. So you can either use the default location or you can just like browse your file system and, and pick where you want it to be. And for the most part, you can just leave everything else as the default. Don't worry too much. We're just gonna click finish down here. So I'm gonna click finish and Eclipse is gonna go off and create a project for us. So over here we have this newly created draft folder and draft was the name of the project. So this is now the folder for our Java project. And I'm just gonna click down and you'll see that we have a couple different things here. The first is this JRE system library. And if you click down on this, it's basically just a collection of all of these different files. And these are just special files that Java is gonna use to help us run our Java programs. You don't really need to worry too much about that and don't get intimidated because there's so much stuff here. If you just leave this here, then you're gonna be fine and everything should work. The next folder is a very important folder for us and it's called the source folder, so it's SRC. And this is essentially the folder where we're gonna store all of our Java programs. So I'm just gonna click down here and you'll see we have this thing here, it just says default package. And you're gonna see this word a lot when you're dealing with Java, which is package. And a package is essentially just a special type of folder that stores uh, similar Java files. So eventually one day when you're creating like, you know, dozens or hundreds of different Java files, you can organize them into different packages. But for now, don't really worry too much about what a package is. In order to create our first Java program, we're actually gonna to have to create something called a class. And a class in Java is basically just a special container that we can use to store uh, code. So we can put some Java code inside of a class and then we'll be able to execute that code. So I'm just gonna right click on source, I'm gonna click new, and over here I'm gonna click class. And this little dialog box should pop up and there's a lot of options here. Really all you guys need to worry about is this name option right here. So I'm just gonna name my first Java class. I'm just gonna call it app. And down here I'm just gonna click finish. So there's this finish button, we'll just click it. All right, so you guys will see what happened. Over here we have this default package and now this app.java file is inside of it. And over here it says public class app. So that's what this app.java file has inside of it so far. So this public class app in these curly braces, inside of here we can put some code. Now in order to get started with Java, we're actually gonna have to create something called a main method. And don't worry too much about what methods are um, right now. We're gonna talk more about that as the course goes on. But essentially a main method is basically a little container that we can put inside of this class where we can store all of the code that we wanna execute. So any code that's inside of this main method is gonna get executed by Java. So what I wanna do is I just wanna type out public static void main. Now don't worry too much about what all of this stuff is. For right now, we're just starting out. You're not gonna understand what this is right off the bat and that's okay. But just copy exactly what I'm typing here and you guys will be fine. 
After main, we're gonna type an open and close parentheses, just like this. And in here, we're gonna type string with a capital S. And then we're gonna type an open and close square bracket. And we're gonna type ARGS, just like that. And now after this parentheses, we're gonna make an open and closed curly bracket. And I'm just gonna make some new lines. So now I'm inside of these open and closed curly brackets inside of this public static void method. So any code that we wanna execute in our Java program, we're gonna put inside of here. So right now I'm just gonna show you guys a simple line of code that we can use to write something out onto a screen called a console. So just follow along with me. We're just gonna type out S-Y-S-T-E-M system with a capital S dot out dot P-R-I-N-T-L-N. And then we're gonna make an open and closed parentheses. And after this open and closed parentheses, we're gonna make a semicolon. So there's a couple things I wanna to talk to you guys about here. System.out.println, and this would normally be said system.out.println. This is a special Java command which will print something out to what's called a console. And a console is basically just a little window where we can output information. So we get output text out onto the console. And basically that's, when you're starting off with Java, that's how you'll sort of uh, figure out how, how your programs are doing and what they're doing. You'll print stuff out to this console. And this command here will allow us to do that. And every time you write a line of Java code, you always need to end it with a semicolon. So you'll see here we have this semicolon. And no matter what, whenever you write um, a, like a command inside of Java, you need to end it off with that semicolon. That's very important. And when you're starting off, trust me, you're gonna forget to do that. Everybody does. Um, and that's one of the things that people often complain about with Java is you have to do that. But there's actually a valid reason for it. Now, inside of these parentheses, I can put some quotation marks. And inside of these quotation marks, I'm just gonna type out hello world. So what I wanna do now is I want to save this. And what's gonna happen is we're basically gonna print out to that console whatever text is inside of these parentheses. So we're gonna print out hello world. And what I wanna to do to run this program is I want to come over here and you'll see in Eclipse, there's this green button right here, this play button. Now there's also two other buttons that look very similar. You wanna click the bigger button, the one that says run app. So you're just gonna click this play button and I'm actually gonna show you what happens. So I'm gonna click the play button and you'll notice that down here, hello world has gotten printed out. So there's this little window down here and I can actually just make it a little bit bigger or smaller. And down here, we were able to print out hello world. And you'll see here, this just says console. So there's a bunch of different tabs over here. Really, all you guys need to worry about is this console tab. So anything that I type out with system.out.println is gonna show up down here in the console. Now you can keep the console down here at the bottom if you're using Eclipse, or you can also move it around the screen. Um, I usually like to put it up here on the side. So all I'm doing is I'm just taking, I'm clicking it and I'm dragging it and I'm just gonna move it all the way to the side and I can put it over here on the side. That's usually how I prefer to have it. So that's probably how we're gonna have it set up for the rest of the course. But you know, you can move it wherever you want. A lot of people do prefer to have it there at the bottom. So that's the basics of setting up our Java file. Now again, a lot of this stuff isn't gonna make sense to you. You know, like what is this public static void main thing? What is this string args? Like, don't worry too much about that right now. This is all just stuff that we needed to put in here in order to, you know, start using Java. And all that's gonna be explained as we go through this course. So stick with it. And in the next few tutorials, we're gonna start really ramping up with Java and we'll learn how we can write some awesome programs. So if you guys notice over here, inside of my little text editor, the text is colored differently than it is by default. So normally when you first install Eclipse, it's just sort of like this white text and it looks pretty good, but a lot of times what developers will want to do is give their files different themes. So if you wanna do that, I'll show you how you can do that in Eclipse. If you're using a different text editor, then this video might not apply, but just know that, I mean, in any text editor, you're gonna be able to use themes. So in Eclipse, we wanna head up here to this help tab up at the top. And I wanna go down to this Eclipse Marketplace. So I'm gonna click this, and this is gonna open up this special window for the Eclipse Marketplace. And this is basically just a place where we can install all sorts of add-ons. So up here in the search bar, you just wanna search for theme. And probably what's gonna come up first is this Eclipse color theme. 
little widget and you can see it has 1.4 million installs. So this is really popular. All you have to do is come over here and just click the install button and this is gonna start installing it. You're gonna have to accept a license agreement and you might get this security warning. You can just install it anyway. Now Eclipse is actually gonna have to restart. So you can just click restart now. It's gonna load Eclipse back up. And now once Eclipse is loaded back up, all we have to do is come up here and you just wanna open up the settings or the preferences. So if you're on Mac, you can just click preferences. If you're on Windows, just click settings. And down here, just go down to this general tab and appearance, and then just say color theme. And so now you should have all of these different themes here that you can use and you can preview them. So if you just click on different themes, it'll show you like what they're gonna look like in your text editor. And then when you find one you like, just come down here and click apply and it'll apply to your text editor. So that's one way that you can give yourself some different options for coloring on your Eclipse IDE. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.